hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i want to share with you how i was able to quickly analyze crash 300 um and the setup gave me a profit of over 300 usd with three positions all right guys so actually it was midnight yesterday and i decided to hop on about 2 a.m then i decided to hop on to crash 300 to see what's going on there so i was on the 15 minutes time frame immediately i just opened so i saw this structure right here i saw this pattern right here this pattern you're seeing here Immediately i noticed this i noticed this was a kind of a channel pattern and the market at that point when i got to the market at that time the market was around here it was around this this place here so i was patiently waiting to see market to get to somewhere here meanwhile let me tell you what happened what i actually did so when i noticed this pattern at this point i decided to pull out my trend line tool and drew a trend line this way you can see that there are so many touches there to confirm this actually a correct trend line for, for that then i duplicated it and put one above right here you can see the touches you can see now the one above doesn't really matter because um from the look of things based on this structure we have seen here the market after breaking out to be selling this movement is indicating a possible uh, a potential that the market is going to change its direction from a bullish move to a bearish move so when i marked out this um trend line to define this channel right here the next thing i noticed was the fact that I saw this and I saw this and I saw the market trying to go up. I met the market around this point. So at that point, and I look at this, this is a, a, a kind of a swing low. This is another low at this point, and this is a high. That's market sold from here, bought from here, and it's buying again from here. And I saw this high here, and he saw this higher high here, and I saw this one that was trying to form. Another high was a higher high was supposed to form after. Uh, this one but you see it got here and failed so it did not happen so seeing this one this one it gave me a sense of understanding that there's a kind of a reversal pattern that is about to form a strong reversal pattern is about to form which is the head and shoulder the head and shoulders pattern so i saw this to be the head so the left shoulder this was the head and i was waiting for the right shoulder to form and looking at where the left shoulder was I expected the right shoulder to get back to this same level then i will go in uh, to sell to catch multiple spikes and when i saw this immediately i got this um second um, red candle here between these two green candlesticks you can see this hammer here and this the next one here let me see if i can zoom it this particular candlestick immediately i saw this I went in on a sell trade. I placed a sell trade with a little a stop loss just right above it. And you know the minimum loss size for crash 300 now is 0 0.5, which is somehow large, guys. So merely price got, uh, I placed the trade. You see the market didn't start by uh, spiking as I expected. So it continued buying. And when I noticed there was no chance to, it was that it's going to it's going to sell, I decided to remove the stop loss with the confidence that market will not come to take out this particular high here because of the, this pattern i'm seeing that's about to form i did not expect market to go above this particular high so i just allowed it it was a little um that should be about minus 20 dollars in um stop loss i think so that should be around that amount about minus 20 or minus 15 or so so i place the trade i place the stop i left the trade to be open you know so then i knew that if it can come and break through this particular zone here this zone here then retest and con it will continue to sell and if it wants to sell from that point from that point if it continues to sell from here it can sell up to this particular level down here up to this level down here so I decided to leave the trade and you see when it got up to this level this is when it started spiking and i was in profit immediately then it spiked again continued spiking and 
it retested it broke through this zone this was a zone here it retested it and continued selling then went up again so with this i also understood something else that this is it actually a high this is a low and because the market is trying to change the direction the direction from bullish to bearish then there is a, a possibility that after this high here is formed then it created a lower low then there's going to be another high and the next high must not go above this so since my trade was around this point i wasn't the window so i allowed it it came back you see it got to this level and still sold down again and mind you i drew a trend line that will help me identify when market has gotten to where it's going to actually reverse because most times the swing points like these points here will always um, enter a trend line properly you can see what i got here when middle market got here it spiked down though actually I did not allow my trade to go far i, I closed with about 80 something about 80 dollars in profit for one position yes but i opened about three positions or so so it gave me over 200 dollars in profit so it's very simple guys then since i only saw this on the 15 minutes time frame i did not go down to check to go down to the lower time a higher time frame to confirm my analysis before placing the trade actually though after placing the trade i decided to go down go up to daily time frame to check out what was actually going on here so let's see what happened on the daily time frame if it actually supported my analysis all right see on the daily time frame what do we have here see one minute guys let me remove this let me remove this remove this okay you can see on the daily time frame look at the channel look at what we have here this this is a kind of a channel or a wedge pattern forming here indicating a reversal in the market and market later broke out of this channel and so down to this point this is a key level in the market also market sold from here and also bought from here also bought from here so you see this is a key level when market got to this level it started buying and now you can also see that at this point this is where market sold from and market also bought from it is a daily time frame so this is also a key level at this point then let's see what we can let's just place a horizontal line right here you can see now that the market is actually reversing this is a daily time uh, daily uh, previous day's candlestick indicating a possible reversal and today it is actually selling so maybe by tomorrow it will still sell if you can enter the market at the right time you you catch some spikes guys so you can see that if we go to the four early time frame it will still confirm what the analysis we have done it will still confirm the analysis we have done guys i do not want this video to be too long i only want to show you that you can analyze the market only on the 15 minutes time frame and you trade if you have if you can find this pattern this particular pattern that confirms a possible reversal in the market you can use even if it is only on the 15 minutes time frame you don't really need to always go to the a very higher time frame if you find this structure on the 15 minutes time frame especially a long a long structure like this not a very short one then you can always make some good money you can see this on the on the four early time frame you still have the the pattern right here and this is where the the retest is happening you can see this where the retest is happening it's going to sell down if you go to the one early time frame you still see this clearly guys so this but this is not where we actually entered the market this is not the the actual one we traded because hold on please because as you can see this is the main one please excuse me let me get this to yeah this is the actual one we saw the one we saw is this one here this is the one we saw and we entered to and we analyzed on the 15 minutes time from this one in particular so you can see the trend line we marked here on the 15 minutes time from look at it right here you can see it right there can see that so this is what we saw on the on the 15 minutes time frame if you go lower to the 15 time minutes time frame you will see it 
you see it guys so this also really gave us the confidence and look at the the line we drew on the daily time frame here this horizontal line you can see it on the 15 minutes time frame so it made us to makes us to confirm that what we saw or what we did on the 15 minutes time frame is is uh, correct guys so on the 15 minutes time frame or any time frame you can always trade do your simple analysis and you trade and if you are analyzing your market on the 15 minutes time frame you must ensure that uh, you must be careful where you want to take your profit and where you want to put your stop loss because the higher the time frame the higher the probability of um, catching big moves the lower the time frame the, the lower the probability of catching big moves in the market guys so that's just it you can see the trend line we drew around the, around this point so it's really working guys so sorry for the noise in the background i went to see my people somewhere and the children are just making a whole lot of noise all right so that is it guys always take note of this strategy we are discussing you need to see a channel or a wage pattern wait for a breakout and a retest on a very strong level then you go in after you see a confirmation that is it guys you will make cool money easily meanwhile remember our training is coming up on friday and we are going to do a lot of things on that day you don't want to meet the if, guys i have prepared a lot of things for you guys and you don't want to miss try and make sure you attend that training on friday the, the time for the training will be communicated in the group i've not yet been able to fix the time because of my very busy schedules guys so please try as much as possible to ensure that you are available in the training so that you can ask questions get clarity on several of these things because some of you i believe you have questions you would want to ask after watching the videos like this but maybe you feel if you ask in the comment section i may not easily reply because of maybe i'm busy or anything so i think it will be an opportunity to interact with you one-on-one -on -one, guys so try and make you make yourself available in the training the link to the training is in the description of this video go down to the description click the link and join us in the group which we use for the update guys so to my next video stay safe peace out